<laughs> Tonight, emotional moments like this now in jeopardy. <laughs> Atifa Sharifi welcoming her Afghan sister who was able to escape the Taliban-controlled country. I think my tears explain everything. I feel like uh, it, it means the world to me that she's here. NBC News has learned that Qatar is planning to suspend evacuation flights for Afghan refugees hoping to resettle in the U.S. This according to refugee advocates and congressional aides. Qatar's embassy in Washington did not respond to a request for comment. The move comes as the nation is less than a month away from hosting soccer's World Cup. More than a million fans from around the world are expected to travel through the country's airports. The World Cup is a security nightmare. They're concerned about that, but it doesn't appear that they made any effort to coordinate with the United States or to warn us of this move. So far, bookings for future flights from Kabul to Doha have been halted. The first leg of any journey to the U.S. <laughs> A journey Atifa's sister Latifa and her three children have waited more than a year to complete, reaching the U.S. in the nick of time. The NBC Dallas station has been following the family. She said that uh, I want to uh, thank you to the team that helped me to get out of Afghanistan. Their story, one of tens of thousands since a refugee crisis emerged following the botched withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan. Some so desperate to flee in the initial days, they were clinging to a U.S. military aircraft that was taking off without them. So I can't imagine the, the, the horror of uh, expecting to be on a flight and then being told that the flights are going to be stopped. We don't know how this is going to play out. It could be life and death for some of them. More than a year later, so many still desperate to escape. According to a State Department spokesperson, the U.S. has issued more than 18,000 special immigrant visas to Afghan applicants between January of 2021 and the end of last month. Those lucky enough to make it to the U.S. try to settle into a new life here. She has been through so much struggle, so much tough time with her three kids that I want to give her as much as convenience and good and pleasing time here so that she forgets all those bad memories. Qatar is facing other criticism in the run-up to the World Cup, including its treatment of LGBTQ people, women, and migrant workers. As for those refugee flights, NBC News has asked the State Department about Qatar's reported plans to end those. All the State Department was able to tell us right now is they remain committed to those relocation plans and that they appreciate the work and the partnership with Qatar. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.